So, uh, I like doing this. I've had a lot of jobs. I used to work at Wendy's at the drive through window. I'll give you an idea how long ago that was. I worked there when they first introduced salad. <laughs> That's true. And they gave me a spiel that I had to say at the drive through window that caused nothing but confusion. Car after car. I had to say it. Welcome to Wendy's, home of garden fresh salad. Can I take your order, please? What? I said, welcome to Wendy's, home of garden fresh salad. Can I take your order, please? Salad! I don't, I don't want no salad! You don't have to have salad. You still got cheeseburgers? Yes, yes, of course. I want a cheeseburger! Would you like a salad with that? No salad! Sorry, I said two salads. Are you messing with me? Yes, the dressings are free. We've got Thousand Island, French, Italian, Balsam by Vinegar Riete. I worked at the International House of Pancakes. And I'll give you an idea how long ago that was. That was back when the container said maple syrup on it. And the lawyers had to get involved. They're like, that's not what's in there. <laughs> I can't say that. So they changed it to imitation maple. Well, oh, that sounds appetizing. Those pancakes good? Almost. <laughs> Sometimes at the IHOP, we'd run out of supplies, and the owner would send me to the supermarket. I felt weird. Like, I'm a 12-year-old kid. I'm at the checkout lane. I've got eight bottles of ketchup, 12 sticks of butter, 19 bottles of pancake syrup. Sometimes a cashier would go, somebody's having a party. <laughs> what kind of parties do you go to? <laughs> Where any of this is ever involved. <laughs> Welcome to the party. Here's a bottle of ketchup. Get on in here. Here's a stick of butter. Here's a stick of butter. Squirt yourself with the syrup. Let's get sticky! I worked in lawn care. I'll give you an idea how long ago that was. That was back when you had to use a rake to move leaves around. And they got those leaf blower deals. What are those all about? They should call those now it's your problem machines. <laughs> I've seen people blow leaves to the property line. Ah! There you go. Good luck with all those. Hope you enjoyed the free decibel show. How come old timers love to tell you how they lied to get their first job? Is that a good lesson for young people? I'll tell you how I got a job at the factory. I told them I knew how to drive a forklift. After destroying $30,000 worth of merchandise, I finally got the hang of it. I'll tell you how I got a job at the hospital. I told him I knew how to do appendectomies. After three months of horrific results, I finally got the hang of it. Good lesson, Grandpa. I cheated still. Got it. I don't know how I know anything, man. I grew up in Miami, Florida. School always confused me. The very first school I went to was a kindergarten named after a person. His name, his name was Robert King High. High was his last name. And it confused <laughs> our relatives that would come down to visit. They're like, where do you go to school, Brian? I'm like, Robert King High? How old are you? <laughs> I'm six. You go to Robert King High? Yeah, because they held me back. <laughs> Grade school was no picnic. The only thing I ever remember reading as a kid was the back of a cereal box. Help Quisp find Quake's hideout. <laughs> Quisp. I 
come they didn't put a history lesson back there or something? <laughs> I remember teachers going, all right, everyone, don't forget your number two pencils tomorrow. And Brian, don't forget your eraser. <laughs> Why am I being signaled out? <laughs> The high school I went to, there's a famous guy who went there. His name is Marcus Lemonis. He does financial shows on television. And, uh, he just recently donated to my high school $10 million. It was in the news. It was certainly a big thing for my high school. And uh, I like that, man. I like to give. I think charity is very, very important. And, uh, that's why I'm very honored to say that uh, Marcus Lemonis and I together have donated to my high school. <laughs> a little over ten million dollars. <laughs> if you donate enough to your school, they just might name something after you. I went to a college in Ohio called Heidelberg, yeah. and I am honored to say that they just recently opened up a brand new science center. And if you go in there, in the back, there is a brand new lecture hall. And if you go in there, <laughs> in the back, there is a brand new mop closet. <laughs> and if you go in there, there is a brand new mop bucket. And if you look in there, there is a brand new mop, and on the stick is a little plaque that says, thanks to our anonymous benefactor. <laughs> I didn't need my name on that stick. You don't gotta put my name on that stick. 